All right. Yeah. Welcome to uh, today's challenge. Okay. Today's challenge is on an exponential equation. Um, the equation looks uh, simple, but uh, not as easy as you may think. Now, the equation is t to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x equal to 1. What that will be the possible value of x. Now, before going to today's challenge, if you're new here, kindly subscribe. The reason why you have to subscribe is because here we drop a new mathematical challenges. Okay, so let's put down our, our question and see uh, what comes out from this. So you take a solution, a solution to this challenge. The question reads 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x equal to 1. Okay, how do we now handle this? I could as well write 2 to the power of 2 or to the power of x, whereby we're going to have 2 to the power of x here and 2 to the power of x or to the power of 2. So we can form a quadratic equation from this expression here. Okay, but look at the approach I want to use here now. At the same time, we'll still arrive at the same answer. So let's divide through by x to the power of 4. Okay, so if we divide through by x to the power of 4, we're going to have this to be 2 to the power of x all over 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x all over 4 to the power of x. Okay, 4 to the power of x equal to 1 all over 4 to the power of x. Okay, now from here, we look at this. Automatically, this side will lead. So we are left with 1 here. And here, we can rewrite 2 to the power of x all over 4 to the power of x as 2 all over 4 to the power of x. We can equally do the same here. Okay? Because 1 to the power of anything will give us 1. And so, if we suck up to that rule, we're going to have this to be your 2 all over 4 or to the power of x plus 1 equal to 1 all over 4, all to the power of x. The rule I just apply here, the law of indices I just apply here, says that if you have your a to the power of y all over your b to the power of y, this could also be written as a all over b or to the power of y. That is the law I just applied here now. Very easy. Now, let's look at this. 2 can go into this, 2 can go into this. And um, 4 can be written as 2 to the power of 2. And so this will now give us here um, 1 all over 2 all to the power of x plus 1 equal to, you will have 1 all over 2 all to the power of 2 all to the square bracket to the power of x. Because 1 to the power of 2 will still give us 1. 2 to the power of 2 will give us 4. So this has not really changed the game. All right. So let's go again now. Yeah, we can come to the law of indices, which says that if you have your a to the power of uh, uh, m or to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m n, which is equal to your a to the power of n to the power of m. So we can interchange these two exponents, bringing the x in and the 2 out. So if we do that, we're going to have this to be, let's continue here. Let's erase this. Okay. So we're writing this, we're going to have this to be 1 all over 2r to the power of x plus 1 equal to 1 all over 2 or to the power of x or into our square bracket to the power of 2. It is at this point we can bring in another alphabet to represent our 1 all over 2 to the power of x. So let's go ahead and bring in u. So we can say here, let u be equal to a 1 all over 2 or to the power of x. So we're going to see 1 all over 2 to the power of x. Let's put in u in there. 
And so our expression will now into becomes your u plus 1 equal to u squared. Let's rearrange. So this will give us u squared minus u minus 1 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. And we cannot use the, um, um, the factorization method to simplify this. So let's use the formula method to simplify what we have in here. Okay. So the formula method says that u is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of uh, b squared minus 4 ac all over 2a. But let's go ahead and bring out the value of a, b, and c from here. We have our a coefficient of u squared, which is 1, positive 1, and uh, b coefficient of u, which is minus 1, and c, the coefficient, c, the constant term, which is uh, minus 1. Okay. So we cannot go ahead substitute these values into our formula. So if we do that, we're going to have our u equal to minus bracket minus 1 close bracket plus minus the square root of minus 1 all to the power of 2 minus 4 into your 1 into minus 1 again everything all over 2 into 1. Okay. We cannot go ahead to simplify this. So if we simplify this, this will give us positive 1 plus minus the square root of 1 minus times minus gives us plus 4 times 1 times 4 will give us 4. Everything all over 2. Again, let's proceed on this other side. Okay, so our u will now give us here 1 plus minus the square root. 1 plus 4 will give us 5 all over 2. So let's go ahead and split these two um, answers from here. Okay, so here we're going to have about case 1, we give us 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2. And case 2, we're going to have 1 minus the square root of 5 all over 2. But recall we said that let u be equal to 1 all over 2 to the power of x. So here we we'll have here recur, recur where we said let u be equal to 1 all over 2 to the power of x. If you look at the two roots we have from our quadratic equation, this will give us um, imaginary roots, okay? And so this second root is ignored. This one will be rejected. We cannot uh, make use of this. Okay, so if we reject this, we take only the golden ratio. This is the one we're going to uh, deal with here. This golden ratio. So if we put this in place of u here, we're going to have this. Uh, this now implies our 1 all over 2 all to the power of x equal to your 1 plus root 5 all over 2. We're looking for is how do we now get our x? Again, we take either the natural log or a log to base 10 of both sides. Either of them will give us the same answer. So let's take the natural log. I like making use of ln base e, which is our natural log to solve problems like this. And so let's introduce our ln to both sides. So we have here ln. If we ln both sides of the equation, so we're going to have this to the power of x equal to our ln bracket, your 1 plus root 5 plus bracket all over 2. Good. Now, according to the law of logarithm, this power here, we move it back to this side. So if we do that, we're going to have here to be your x dot ln of 1 all over 2 equal to, here we have your ln of your 1 plus root 5 close bracket all over 2. Go ahead to divide by ln of 1 all over 2 
this C side, we do the same thing here, 1 all over 2. Okay. The whole of this, we go with this. So we are left with X here. Again, let's proceed here. So we have our X equal to, if we apply the law of logarithm to this, which is the division law of logarithm to this and this, we're going to have here to be your ln bracket of 1 plus root 5, close bracket, minus the ln of 2, close bracket, all over the ln of 1 minus the ln of 2. Okay, now this is the final answer to our challenge. For the sake of time, although I have solved this, I've used calculator to break down this and the answer, the value I have from this imputed into our initial equation gives us a correct answer, satisfy the equation. You can use calculator to simplify this by finding the square root of this, add this to this, then find the ln of it, then ln of 2, all over the ln of this minus the ln of this. By the time you divide everything down, then you're going to have a particular value, a numerical value that when you put into your uh, equation, which is your 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x equal to 1, we satisfy both sides of the equation. Okay, this is all I must TV. And my name remains Jix Anemo. If you have learned something from this exponential challenge, drop it in the comment section leave a comment just drop something there just say thanks jigs for what you're doing all right you have a better way of solving this also drop it in the comment section so that we can equally learn from you okay remember jigs loves you and every one of us at online mass tv love you bye for now